Monday afternoon, April 15th, Hotel Valley. Nice breeze, it's been nice and cool today. It's uh, 3.15 and it's 71 degrees. Nice, beautiful day. Other than, they've been real interested as you can see here. The trail just came through and they've been hitting this mixture of this big chem cloud up there. And one came through and went right down the middle of this one here. So they're interested in that formation right there. And you can see the ripple effects in it. That one just came through right there. Down to the mixture of that cloud. Particles. The rest of the sky is pretty clear. Some uh, rain clouds coming over that were uh, when I left San Diego it was raining a little bit not nothing hard but just raining a little bit and it's been pretty clear here and this mixture blew in and the jet started coming in and hitting it so you know, the geoengineers are very interested in this uh, end cloud formation up there continuing to see it. And we see the uh, ripple effects. Wind shear, a lot of it's caused by, I think more so than wind shear is uh, the electromagnetic microwave transmissions they zap it with. Mountains. That trail just came to right there. mixture blown in here and then looking down towards the salt and sea once again. We like to use the uh, salt and sea, the big body of water out there. And, and another thing to note is there's, uh, I think there's nine thermal uh, generating plants out there. There's a lot of thermal activity. But lots out there, hot and hot. hot so. hot water and they do produce some uh, moisture up into the air so maybe it's a combination of the salt and sea evaporation and the, uh, the geothermal plants down there that are located all around the bottom end of the salt and sea so that is something, something interesting to know it's what all's going on that you know, they never tell us about, of course.